In Washington, the January 6th committee revealed more details about how they say former President Trump and his allies pressured key state officials to find more Trump votes or send fake Trump electors to Washington from states Joe Biden won. It was the fourth televised hearing the committee has held with more to come. Chris Pallone reports from Washington. In emotional testimony, two Georgia poll workers, a mother and daughter, told the January 6th committee how their lives have been turned upside down after former President Donald Trump and his allies falsely accused them by name of committing election fraud. There is nowhere I feel safe. Nowhere. Do you know how it feels to have the President of the United States to target you? I haven't been anywhere. Um at all. Don't do nothing anymore. The testimony capping the fourth public hearing, which focused on the uh, Trump campaign's awful. attempts to pressure officials in swing states Joe Biden won to overturn the results. The president's lie was and is a dangerous cancer on the body politic. Georgia election officials told the committee about this recorded call between the president and the state's Republican secretary of state. I just want to find uh, 11,000 780 votes, which is one more than we have. Election officials conducted several recounts and looked into every fraud claim the president made. They say none stood up to scrutiny. There were no votes to find. That was an accurate count that had been certified. Arizona's Speaker of the House, a Trump supporter, said he repeatedly pressed Trump campaign attorney Rudy Giuliani for evidence of his many fraud claims. My recollection, he said, we've got lots of theories, we just don't have the evidence. Bowers, with tears in his eyes, insisted he would not violate his oath of office for the former president.